Did you know that nearly 50% of men over the age of 50 experience an enlarged prostate? That's a staggering number. But here's the kicker, what if I told you there's a natural food that could help shrink that pesky problem? Stick around, because we're diving into a potential solution that could change the game for many men out there. Today, we're talking about Sa Palmetto, a natural remedy making waves in the health community for its potential to shrink an enlarged prostate. Studies suggest that Sa Palmetto can help reduce the symptoms associated with benign prostatic hyperplasia, BPH, which includes frequent urination, difficulty starting and stopping urination, and even painful urination. This is significant because it not only improves urinary health but can also enhance overall quality of life. The prostate is a small gland located below the bladder, surrounding the urethra. As men age, this gland can grow larger, leading to a variety of symptoms. Historically, treatments have included medications and surgical procedures, but many men prefer natural remedies like saw palmetto to avoid potential side effects. The therapeutic effects of saw palmetto in reducing prostate size and alleviating associated symptoms are primarily attributed to its unique phytochemical profile. The fruit of the saw palmetto plant contains a diverse array of bioactive compounds, including fatty acids, phytosterols, and flavonoids. These constituents are believed to work synergistically to exert several beneficial effects on prostate health. One of the key mechanisms by which saw palmetto may influence prostate size is through its impact on the hormone dihydrotestosterone, DHT. DHT is a potent androgen hormone derived from testosterone, and it plays a significant role in the growth and development of prostate tissue. Elevated levels of DHT have been linked to the proliferation of prostate cells, contributing to the enlargement of the prostate. Sa palmetto is thought to exert a modulating effect on the enzyme 5-alpha reductase, which is responsible for converting testosterone into DHT. By inhibiting this enzyme, saw palmetto may help reduce the levels of DHT in the prostate, thereby potentially slowing or reversing the growth of prostate tissue. Saw palmetto is a well-known herbal supplement used to manage BPH symptoms. Its potential benefits come from its effects on hormone levels and inflammation. Saw palmetto is believed to inhibit the enzyme 5-alpha reductase, which converts testosterone into dihydrotestosterone, DHT. Elevated DHT levels are linked to prostate enlargement. By reducing DHT production, saw palmetto may help reduce prostate size and alleviate symptoms. Additionally, saw palmetto has anti-inflammatory properties, which can help reduce inflammation in the prostate and improve urinary symptoms. It might also influence other hormonal pathways involved in prostate function, although its exact impact on these pathways isn't fully understood. Furthermore, saw palmetto is believed to enhance the overall health of the urinary tract. It may help improve urinary flow and reduce symptoms such as urgency and frequency by supporting a more balanced function of the bladder and urethra. This improvement in urinary function can be particularly valuable for individuals experiencing discomfort and disruption due to BPH. Research on saw palmetto's effectiveness is mixed. Some studies show that it can improve urinary symptoms like frequent urination and nocturia, waking up at night to urinate, while others find less conclusive evidence regarding its impact on prostate size itself. For those considering saw palmetto as a natural remedy for an enlarged prostate, it is essential to approach it with careful consideration and, ideally, under the guidance of a healthcare professional. They can provide personalized advice based on individual health needs and ensure that the use of saw palmetto does not interfere with other treatments or conditions. Additionally, ongoing research continues to explore the full range of saw palmetto's effects and its potential role in prostate health, offering hope for further insights and advancements in this area. 
When considering the use of saw palmetto for managing an enlarged prostate, it's important to understand the differences between taking it as a supplement versus consuming it in its natural form. Both approaches can offer benefits, but they come with distinct characteristics and potential implications. Sa Palmetto supplements are widely available and commonly used for various health benefits, including managing symptoms of benign prostatic hyperplasia, BPH. These supplements come in various forms, including capsules, tablets, soft gels, and liquid extracts. The primary advantage of supplements is their standardized dosage, which can make it easier to ensure consistent intake and potentially achieve the desired therapeutic effects. The effectiveness of saw palmetto supplements is often attributed to their concentrated forms of active ingredients. These supplements typically contain extracts of saw palmetto berries, which are processed to concentrate the beneficial compounds such as fatty acids, phytosterols, and flavonoids. This concentration can enhance the potency and efficacy of the saw palmetto extract, potentially making it more effective at addressing prostate-related issues. On the other hand, consuming saw palmetto in its natural form, such as through whole berries or dried fruit, is less common and may present different challenges. Saw palmetto berries are typically small, dark, and have a somewhat oily texture. While they can be eaten, their natural form does not provide the same concentrated dosage as supplements, which might result in less predictable effects. One of the main challenges with eating saw palmetto berries is the variability in their active ingredient content. Unlike supplements, where concentrations of key compounds are standardized, the potency of saw palmetto berries can vary depending on factors such as growing conditions, harvesting methods, and processing techniques. As a result, it can be difficult to gauge the exact amount of active ingredients consumed and their impact on prostate health. Moreover, incorporating saw palmetto berries into the diet may not be as practical or convenient for everyone. The berries are not commonly found in mainstream grocery stores, and their taste and texture may not be appealing to all individuals. This can make it challenging to consume sufficient quantities regularly. Now let's talk about the causes of an enlarged prostate. To understand the causes behind this condition, it's crucial to delve into the intricate interplay of hormonal changes, genetic factors, and environmental influences. One of the principal drivers behind the enlargement of the prostate is hormonal imbalance. Testosterone, the predominant male sex hormone, plays a significant role in prostate health. In a healthy male body, testosterone is converted into DHT by the enzyme 5-alpha reductase. DHT is a more potent androgen that influences the growth and development of prostate tissue. As men age, there is a gradual shift in the balance of these hormones. The levels of testosterone may decrease, but the levels of DHT can remain stable or even increase. This hormonal imbalance can stimulate the proliferation of prostate cells, leading to an increase in prostate size. Another important hormonal factor is estrogen. Although estrogen is typically considered a female hormone, men also produce it, albeit in smaller quantities. With aging, the levels of estrogen relative to testosterone can increase. This shift can contribute to the growth of prostate cells and exacerbate the enlargement of the prostate. Genetics also play a crucial role in the development of BPH. Research has shown that there is a hereditary component to the condition. Men with a family history of BPH are more likely to develop the condition themselves, suggesting that genetic predispositions can influence the likelihood of prostate enlargement. Specific genes involved in hormonal regulation, cell growth, and inflammatory responses may be implicated in this hereditary aspect. Environmental factors and lifestyle choices also contribute to the risk of developing BPH. Diet, for instance, can influence prostate health. 
A diet high in red meat and low in fruits and vegetables may be associated with an increased risk of BPH. Conversely, a diet rich in antioxidants and healthy fats might offer some protective benefits. Physical activity is another important factor. Sedentary lifestyles have been linked to a higher risk of BPH, whereas regular exercise may help mitigate some of the risk factors associated with the condition. Inflammatory processes within the prostate can also contribute to its enlargement. Chronic inflammation, whether due to infection, irritants, or other factors, can stimulate the proliferation of prostate cells and lead to an increase in prostate size. This inflammation might be a result of ongoing bacterial infections, autoimmune responses, or other chronic irritants. Age remains a significant factor in the development of BPH. The incidence of prostate enlargement increases with age, particularly in men over the age of 50. The natural aging process involves various physiological changes, including alterations in hormone levels, cellular turnover, and immune function, all of which can contribute to the development of BPH. So, to wrap it all up, Saw Palmetto has proven itself as a strong contender in the world of natural remedies for prostate health. With a rich history, supportive scientific research, and tons of positive testimonials, it's no wonder it's become a popular choice among men seeking relief from prostate problems. If you're dealing with these issues, I highly encourage you to consider giving Saw Palmetto a shot. Just remember to do your homework and consult with a healthcare professional to make sure it's right for you. Your prostate will thank you. You can also check out my other video that talks about just one tiny vitamin pill a day to shrinks your enlarged prostate. We want to hear from you. Share your experiences below in the comments below and turn on the notification bell.